but do I want to enter that landmine? They're all having a big kerfluffle over the 2.1 cable with the HDMI. There's a big kerfluffle. Should I give the, the overarching answer or the HDMI 2.1 answer? Uh, probably both. The overarching answer, all HDMI cables are not the same. And then the HDMI 2.1 answer? Modern brand new cables should run 2.1 fine. The original HDMI cables from years and years and years ago are not the same as the cables being made now. And there is a difference between ultra budget cables and premium cables. I've had no end of problems trying to use old HDMI cables on new high resolution monitors or especially HDMI 2.0 cables designed for 1.4. Uh, I've had problems with those cheap generic cables you get bundled with like old monitors that come yeah. with like 1080p monitors on new high end devices. Since I just started buying high speed cables, it's been the bad. problems go away. Yeah. Now, I recognize that a digital signal is a digital signal. Better wires and copper don't somehow make the bits better. It's not like analog cables with RCA connections. But there have been changes to the cables, and some cables are physically made better than others. And there are high speed cables that have better components in them that handle higher frequencies. That doesn't mean... You mean like 4K, 8K, 12K? Just higher data rate. It's not a resolution, it's data rate. HDMI yeah, 2.1 is not all about... But 8K takes more data than yes, 4K. But you can use that extra data for 1440p 240 hertz as well as 8K at 60 hertz. It, the, the cable doesn't care. Right. The cable doesn't even know. The cable only knows the data rate. Right. But the point is, is the data rates of HDMI have stepped up over the years. And I have had issues with cheap cables. It's not that a really good quality cable from 10 years ago might work fine today, but a cheap crappy cable from today might not work on a high speed device. Yes. It's one of those things where it shouldn't matter, in theory, but it does. Linus actually did a video on this. Linus did a video testing whether those expensive cables actually did anything. Mm. Uh, he was actually surprised to discover it could make a difference. But only in premium situations. On a 1080p monitor to make a difference. I mean, basically any HDMI cable will do 1080p. But if you're trying to use HDMI to do 1440p or 4K yes, at is. high refresh rates, you suddenly need a better cable. Mm. And they didn't necessarily make a lot of better cables 10 years ago because nobody, the standards didn't exist. Exactly. Um, so Display. did I just step in it and upset everybody in chat? I don't know. Display port for the win. <laughs> oh, God, yes. HDMI <laughs> is stupid. Display port 100%. <laughs> Display port. Well, although, you know, okay. Uh, this will this this will drive you guys nuts. How many times have you seen me go and grab another DisplayPort cable? Oh, many many times. On our higher on our 4K and our 144 hertz monitors. Well, I know when I went to set up the uh, ViewSonic 27 inch, I tried using a DisplayPort and it went stuff you. So I grabbed a HDMI cable, plugged it in, worked fine. If you'd grabbed a different DisplayPort cable, it I didn't it, I didn't have one. No, I know. Um, I found that some are just, some of it is some of those DisplayPort cables we've had for years, and they were from the DisplayPort 1.2 era, and they really weren't designed for the mono, you really want, you really want a fun one? Um, DisplayPort 1.1 was awful. I actually have a computer that has a DisplayPort 1.1 on the back, 1 .1 and on it the does back? not work on modern DisplayPort monitors. We've, At all. We've had several cables where I uh, plugged it in on 1440p, didn't work. Plug it in on 1080p, worked fine. So I've actually had to start labeling does not work 1440p. Okay. So here's the challenge. Some of it is quality of cable. Oh, here we go. Matt said he brought um, some cables from Big Lock 10 years ago. They would only do 720 there you go, man. I mean, yeah. uh, what do you know? Yeah. Um, maybe a better answer is, in theory, 
It's an electrical signal. It's a, it's a cable with wires. In theory, any HDMI cable should be able to run any HDMI connection. But the, the reality is they don't because some of them are made very poorly and others are made very well. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. The more expensive cables, it's like, well, you're not going to get better bits because they're all ones and zeros. Yeah. But if the signaling quality is poor, you'll get dropout or connection issues. Correct but only at higher resolutions and higher details. You could take a poor cable yeah. and run it 1080p, 60 hertz, but the minute you plug it into 1440p, 144 hertz, not gonna do it. Because the bit rates, because like the wires and the connectors are just cheap. Difference. Okay. So you know when people say, are the cables different? They are, but Do you realize that for the first 70 years of televisions, I mean, you had the the 75 ohm coax connector? Yeah. And from a 1960s TV to a 1970s TV to a 1980s TV, even to a 1990s TV, they all were basically the same connectors, the same NTSC standard, and it never changed. Mm -hmm. And now we have all this crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to be careful. 